I'd like to walk you through the new version 5 software for the Mira Instant Replay server and the Mira Production server. We do have new hardware for recording AVC Intra natively in, in both the Mira Production server as well as the Mira Instant Replay server. And the AVC Intra will be capable of recording at both 50 megabits per second for HD as well as 100 megabits per second for HD. So that'll provide much better picture quality uh, for both servers. Also what's new for hardware is the um, AES Audio inputs and outputs. We'll be able to record multiple tracks of AES Audio as a standard feature in the Mira Instant Replay server. And in conjunction with that feature, we also have included a new audio router inside the Mira Configuration Utility, which will allow the operator to map specific audio tracks from, say, a given camera that has natural sound on tracks one and two. And we'll be able to repeat that and map those tracks to all cameras inside the server when we're recording during an instant replay event. So that's a very nice feature that will allow the Mira to be much more flexible in all instant replay environments. Also new for the instant replay server in the software side of things is the fact that we've increased the window size for the program outputs. So this allows the operator to see much more clearly what's happening during a replay. So we can see on both program one and program two all the action that's, that's happening in the game. Also new for the instant replay server is the fact that we can create an aux audio track for the playlist. So that allows the operator to define a what's called an audio bed or an aux audio track that will play alongside the main playlist. So we have access to the main Miraclip library from this audio control menu and we have the ability to ingest audio files during pre-production time and then assign audio files to the playlist. We can insert that into the aux audio track that will then play back later during the playlist playout. So when I queue up the playlist, the aux audio track will also queue up and then I can play the video playback at any play speed and the aux audio will play alongside. So as I slow down the playback of the video, the aux audio will play at a normal 100% play speed always. What's also new in the Mira Instant Replay server, very clear countdown indicators for the playout during a playlist uh, playout event. So when we queue up a, a playlist, you'll see the total playlist time clearly indicated, as well as the current time for the current item that's playing out the main program output. And as we play the playlist out, you'll see the countdown timer count down to zero for each item in the playlist. And as we use the T-bar to slow down the playlist, the countdown timer will adjust automatically to account for the slower playback.